Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, I want to do an unboxing of the DJ Mic 2 and the DJ Mic adapter, as well as I'm going to be doing a firmware update for the DJ Mic 2. Let's get straight into the unboxing. All right, guys, so we have the two products right here. I'm going to put this to the side for now, and I'm going to just focus on the, the DJ Mic 2. All right, so let me get my knife. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of cut plastic right here. All right, so now that we have the plastic off, let's look at the back right here. And you can, you guys can kind of pause the video and take a look at that. But the things I'm, I'm mainly interested in is the noise cancellation, the 32-bit float, and the added uh, hours of the, um, the use of the battery. So this is 18 hours for the use. All right, so let's get straight into the opening. Ah, here we go. So we have the case. Let's see what's inside over here. All right, so this is the quick starter guide. Pretty much. And this is a sticker. All right, so these are some stickers if you guys, you know, are interested in anything like that. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to just go here, and then let's take this out. All right, so as we open the case at the far back, we have our USB-C. So this is USB-A to USB-C. And once we open it, we have the cable for attaching the receiver and put it into the camera. Let's put this to the side right here. And once we go in again, we'll have the dead cat. Let's put this here. And we're gonna put this here. All right. Let's just check and see if there's anything else. No. So all we have here is the case for the DJI Mic 2. All right, let's close this up and put this to the side. All right, so the one, the one visible difference I've seen now with both is the fact that it has the clip here that, that you can use to hold it down. And even though when I had this one, it never really fell out, so that's pretty good. But I love that you have a second level of security that you know holds it in. You can worry, you don't have to worry that this is going to be opening at all. So I really love that. And if we go in and we look at the the difference with both, you can see that big wheel right there. And I think that kind of adds a little bit a lot of level of scrolling through the menus. And I think that is pretty good. I love how each of them is definitely a uh, touch screen. Um, and I can see that the screen over here seem to be a bit bigger on the Mic 2 version. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I love that also the cold shoe is actually attached to it now. With this one, it's not attached. You can actually take it off. So that's the one difference I see so far. And of course, if you look at the, the transmitters, you can see the difference. One is you can actually see right through and the others are more solid. And if you look at the sides, you can see the difference when it comes on to the button layout. Actually, even the lighting right here are on the top edges and the lighting on the new one is on the sides. Because a lot of people used to complain that they were able to still see the lighting on, on, the, on, the, on the mic. So that's another thing. You know, look over here on the other side and you have your linking button and your power button. And I love that with this, if you're using it, you can actually just press the power button at once and it goes in to a nice cancellation, which I think is a really good feature. And like I mentioned before, this comes with a 32-bit float. So that is pretty good. All right, so let's get into some other stuff now. Now that we have this open, let's move this over here. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to open the adapter. All right, let's just take this off. Let's put this to the side for now. All 
All right, so once you take it out, you have the adapter and manual. Let's put this to the side. And now we have the adapter right here. And what I'll do is I'll show on the screen of the different cameras that can be used with this adapter that actually uses the feature of the adapter. I'm using the A7 IV and it definitely works with that camera. And you, you will be pleased to not have to be able to use cables anymore. Um, the one thing I know that when, when having the cable on the receiver is that when the cable is attached and you turn the camera off, it automatically turns off the receiver as well. And I think with this, that doesn't happen. But anyway, let's get straight on. So what we're going to do now, we're going to slide this off. And this is what you need to protect the, the pins on the adapter. Make sure you keep this on, guys, because these pins are very sensitive from what I've heard. And if we slide this up, and this is what is going to go onto the... So before me talking, let me just kind of demonstrate it. So pretty much, we can slide this off right here. Slide off the back. Put this down. Here we go. All right, so you slide it in on the side where the cold shoe is, all right? So once you slide it in like that, as you can see right there, it's in. And like I said, I mentioned I took off the rubber. Let's put this to the side and let's get my camera. And pretty much all I'm gonna do now, let's make sure that it is attached. Let's turn it on. Let's put this in video mode. Make sure the transmitters are turned on. So let's take one of them out. And there you go. It's automatically connected. Once I take this out, you can see the green light on there and you can see that the signal there is, is working. And if I should take out the second one, let's put this down, take this out. You can now see that you have two of them now that is connected. I can see right there and it's working perfectly fine. I didn't have to do anything at all. All I did was connect it to the camera and it automatically picked it up and it just start working. So that for me is a really good feature to have. So let's put these back in. And let's take this off. Let's turn off my camera and let's take this off. As you can see, once I turn the camera off, the power is still on there. All right, like I mentioned before. So let's put this to the side and let's slide this out. That's pretty good. And let's put this safety on so that where it's there. And let's put this back into the case for now. And I love how small this is. My only one concern is how easy it is to get lost. Um, so, you know, you just have to be very careful with this and make sure, guys, like I mentioned before, keep the rubber on there just to protect those pins down there. And I wish they, they did the sign in such a way that they could actually put it in the case, but I don't think that's a big issue at all. So if you come here, you just drop it in the case, you take this out, but we don't need this. So now you have a space for the transmitter. And let's, let's for, for, the, for the, uh, the receiver, and now if I take these out, the dead cats, let me take them out. So now that the dead cats are out, the plastic, and I open this now, let's open the old one as well. Let's put this to the side over here. Put this to the side. So now you can notice the difference with this. You just have a hole here but with the hole here, you have some little notches that you're going to need in order to put on the older dead cat on the one, the mic one. So let's take out my dead cat for the mic one. And if you look at the dead cat here, you will see the difference right here. You will see the difference from this in comparison to what this. So this is a new one. This is the older one. All right. So let's see how easy it is. And all I have to do is put, find a hole, put it in. Once I fire it in, it snaps into place and it's in there, not going anywhere. All right. So let's try to do the older one now, which is the mic one. And pretty much what you had to do, guys, is you have to make sure that they expose the plastic right here. And then once you find the hole here for the mic, this is a gray area right here with the silver piece right here. That's where it is. You literally put it on 
and you have to make sure you kind of feel your way out until it locks in and that's how it is which I don't think is a big deal. I'm pretty much just nitpicking, but I just show you, I'm just showing you how easy it is to put on on the mic two versus the mic one. So just as something for you guys to think about. All right. So I have to twist again to take it off, which I don't mind because it just shows you that it's not going to be very easy to come off. All right. So let's come back over here. Let's put this back in and we kind of take that out and put that back in. And like I mentioned before, once you're at this screen right here, guys, all you're going to do to, to get to check your firmware is you swipe down and then you use the wheel to swipe all the way over to settings. You press settings and you swipe all the way over and you go to version and you're going to see that your version number here is 04020113. And on the website, um, it says... 04040513 so we definitely need to upgrade our firmware on this so now that's the process that we're going to go through right now all right so once you go onto the dji website links will be in the description below guys so you don't have to worry so once you get to the main website for the download you're going to see right here that you have the the three files here this is a pdf this is for the receiver and this is for the transmitter okay guys so your receiver and the two transmitters so now what we're going to do we're going to update all three of these let's put this to the side over here so what we're going to do now we're going to update this all right so let's just get all these out of the way all right so like i mentioned before we have our firmware and then what we need to do now is we're going to just click on the file. Once you click on this file here, it's going to go to your download folder. So you guys go ahead and click on that. And then I already created a folder for my files. So I dragged the folder over here. So I created a folder for the, the receiver and the transmitter. So guys, if you're confused about what the files are, if you double click on it, you will see RX, right? And then if you go to the other file, you'll see TX. So now what we're going to do is the first thing you need to do, guys, you need to power off all the equipment. So we're going to power it off. Make sure it's turned off. That's the only way you can do the update, guys. So I'm going to get my cable. So now that we have our cable, literally all we're going to do is just plug it in. So once I plug it in, you should see something pop up on your computer that says no name. So all I'm going to do now, so this is the, the receiver. I'm going to just copy, go to the no name. You need to do it into the main folder. Then you right click and say paste. It's going to paste it in there. Just wait for it to finish doing its thing. Not too sure why it's taking so long. Okay, so it's a 2.1 megabyte file. What I'll do is I'll speed up the process of the download. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so that took pretty long for whatever reason. I'm not too sure why that is, but it was copied over. So what I'm going to do now is unplug it. And then now, if you look right here, you will see it says updating. All right, so we'll just watch that. All right, so as you can see here, guys, the sign that says update successfully. All right, so that, will, that way we know that we have updated our file successfully, guys. So we can definitely move on. We can actually just put it inside the, the case and just leave it there for now. All right, guys, so now that we have updated everything, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is we're going to update the two transmitters. All right, let's close the case. So now make sure you turn it off, the power off. I'm going to turn the power off. And all I'm going to do is plug it in. And it's basically the same principle, guys. So once it's updating, guys, you'll see that the light is just going to be flashing right there. And it's flashing really rapidly. All right, so once the files are updated, guys, you just take the, the two tr uh, transmitters out the case, make sure they're outside and the power is on. And then you take out the receiver. And then if you come here now, you're going to swipe down. And then go all the way over to settings and go all the way again over until you see version and now if you look at the firmware version this is the updated version but if you if you go one more over swipe over like that 
you now you're going to see the two transmitters here with the, the same version number. So that, that's how you know that everything has been done properly. All right, so we're going to put it back into the case. All right, so any one of you guys interested in, you know, getting either the one, if you already have the one, I don't think you necessarily need the two, but I like the fact that it has Bluetooth for me that I can actually connect it to my phone. I can connect it to my computer on any other device that actually uses a mic Bluetooth wise, and it works perfectly. I love the fact that the case has a, a clip at the front that keeps it closed unless you open it. I love the design, the new design of the, the you know, the translucent uh, housing. Um, I love the 32-bit float, and I love the fact that if I'm outside in a noisy area, I can just press the power button once while it's recording, and it goes into noise cancellation. Because if I, if, I, if I do, let's say I do this now, and I say I'm recording, and if I turn this around now and press the power button just once, you will see that this turning kind of a, like a light shade of green or, you know what I'm saying, almost yellow. And that's how you know that it's in uh, the noise cancellation mode. All right, and you press it one more time and it goes back to normal. So I love that feature. The next thing is I love the little wheel on here. That is really nice. And I also love how, you know, you can use the wheel to navigate through the menus, which is a lot easier if you just use, instead of us using your fingers. And one of the other things too, like I mentioned, is the fact now that we have this new adapter. And if you want to get rid of your, your, your wires, this is just one less thing for you to, you know, to forget using one of these. But we can always forget these because it's so small. This, we're not going to forget that much. So that's so easy. And you have a little space inside the bag for it. So I think this is a good addition to the Mic 2 system. And I think if you guys are interested, if you guys are interested in any of these, links will be in the description below for the Mic 1 and also the Mic 2. All right, guys? If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>